My name is Biaruhanga Bonaventure from National Curriculum Development Center. Together with my colleague, John, from Ugandan Sign Language. We are going to have a lesson in chemistry, and our topic is chemistry and society. Good. I believe you remember the meaning of chemistry. What is chemistry? The study of the changes in matter. Matter is all around us. But let us put it this way. During this lesson, we shall identify the different products made as a result of the study of chemistry, and also we shall identify different careers related to chemistry. Good. Let us do it this way. Let us begin by looking around ourselves whether we are at home, whether we are in the garden, whether we are, wherever we are, let us look around ourselves and identify as many objects, as many materials, as many substances as we can get. Let us identify as many objects around us and maybe list, list them. All right, I think you have seen soap, maybe a glass of water, or water in a container, another container. We have our book, a pen, a cup, and many other objects. That's good. Somebody says they have seen a sanitizer toothpaste, colgate, some of us call it colgate, and many other objects and many other substances. All of these are made as a result of using the knowledge of chemistry. So we can say that the knowledge of chemistry is very important for us. We use it to prepare, to manufacture, a variety of objects, a variety of materials that we use in everyday life. Good. Can you imagine if there was no chemistry? The sanitizers we are using to fight the deadly coronavirus, the soap we are using to wash our hands regularly, are all a result of the knowledge of chemistry. I think the world would even be worse, in a worse situation than we are now, if there was no knowledge of chemistry. Good. Let us now look at the processes by which these products are made. We have seen the products. Let us now look at the processes. Let us try to at least some of them. All right. Making soap, making bread, making soda, we like it so much. Making charcoal, the charcoal we are using for preparing our food. Making... Um, Local drinks in the villages. Some of, some of us, dear listeners, come from these places where we make local drinks. These are the processes that involve changes in matter, and these are the processes of chemistry. And by the way, chemistry does not stop at that. Even within our bodies, there are processes which are chemical in nature. I believe from your biology lessons you have words like digestion, the process by which food is processed in the body. That is also a chemical process done in biology. 
So, the processes by which all the products that we use are made are all chemical processes. I hope we are together. These processes involve different people whom we would we call professionals. Professionals, that could be a difficult word, but let us use a simple one, careers. What we want to do, what we want to become. I would say that almost all the careers are related to chemistry in a way. Okay, dear Lana. That's approximately correct. We are almost there. It's a rough idea. But let us list down the different careers that we know about. I believe you can fill up the whole page with careers. Okay, list down a few of them. Thank you. Let us list them together. Medical doctors, nurses, agriculture officers, pharmacists, engineers, those who process our food, those who process the water we use, those who prepare the drugs that we use, those are different careers and they are related to chemistry in one way or the other. Okay, we can repeat some of the careers. Doctors, nurses, veterinary doctors, pharmacists, agriculture officers, food processors of food, those who manufacture drugs. Now, my question would be, which of those careers would you want to take in the future? And why? Would you want to become a medical doctor, a nurse, agriculture officer? What about a chemistry teacher like myself? Okay, you may not give me the answer now. You may have to ask your parent or your guardian about which of the careers you would wish to take in the future and why, and then you will be helped to achieve them. But very important that some, most of them are related to the knowledge of chemistry. So Diana, have you seen that chemistry is very important for the development of our country and any other countries anyway? Uganda as a country and other countries use the knowledge of chemistry to produce, to manufacture goods. And then these goods are distributed in form of services and the development of our country and the development of other countries will depend, sorry, depends on the knowledge of chemistry in very many ways. Thank you so much for being good learners. And we can remind ourselves about what we have learned today. That the products that we use are made as a result of the knowledge of chemistry. The processes that we, we go through to make these products use the knowledge of chemistry. And number three, that different careers, very many careers are related to chemistry as a subject. This lesson was extracted from the Senior One Chemistry syllabus. So dear Lana, please stay safe, stay home, and don't forget to use our knowledge of chemistry to keep safe and healthy by washing, 
our hands regularly with soap and water. This is the end of the lesson for today. Bye-bye.